Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, Ace or John RMS, so Ace Bullion is coming at you. Um, I am about to open up finally the package that I've been going on about. Uh, but before I actually do this unwrapping of the package, because I actually forgot what it was, but it was from uh, one of the Silver Forum uh, members. Um, I like to get some help and assistance uh, with any of you guys out there that are using tumblers or are using um, any kind of like a vibratory uh, tumbler, etc, etc. Now, I'll quickly move this over and out of the way. As you can see here, I have, excuse the camera, I have my smart reloader. And inside, I'm running uh, just some uh, lime and green at the moment, which is absolutely you know great for polishing up brass uh, and stuff. Um, and uh, you know, I've had this for a while. Uh, well, actually, this is my second one. First one uh, broke, but um, the reason. Uh, I'm actually asking is I've actually never used it for silver up until the other day. And uh, let's move this package out of the way. So as you can see, and I'll try to zoom in on this for you. This is the bar that I had uh, um, poured uh, on my live uh, pour. So if you actually just want to skip to it, skip to about the last five minutes and you'll see the bar. And it came out absolutely lovely, shiny and you know, really gorgeous. And so I use this and, uh, sorry, let's zoom out a little bit here, guys. I use that, uh, the polisher on this and it took away a lot of the imperfections, um, that I, you know, I suspected it would. Um, and, uh, it's, uh, it's still left. Um, well, let's say it's left it with a very matte, you know, finish. Now, I know I can go out and buy um, some uh, different media, such as like uh, shot along with some, you know, bearings. Uh, I also have this uh, Good Arts Silver Polish, which was recommended by a good friend of mine, uh, Backyard Bullion. So I'm actually going to hand polish all of these now. Um, try to get them up to a nice mirror finish. Um, cause this stuff is just messy and it's uh, a right pain to, to work with to a degree. Actually, I better not do that cause I'll get stuff everywhere. Oh, smells good though. Um, but I'd like to know what you guys actually do. Uh, if any of you are using tumblers, I don't care if they're rotary tumblers or vibratory tumblers. In the end, it's just a matter of speed and, you know, that's it. So. The vibratory tumblers uh, that I have, for instance, will work much quicker, but they cost a heck of a lot more. Um, the media clearly is leaving an, uh, a dull finish, but it has removed a lot of that, you know, surface residue uh, from the graphite mold or the um, the pour, um, you know, with the heat and stuff. But that'll polish up. So. That's going to be number two, by the way, on my list for that one. So let's get back to the package. So, as I said, if you guys do have anything, let me know. Because I, uh, I'm quite intrigued. Um, ah, right, okay, so this, I, I've only just read the box. I knew not to open it uh, on camera. Um, and, uh, there's my knife, just by the way, one of them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I forgot that I bought this from Ash, actually. Let's not keep that there. And let's see here. Get this out of the way. Yeah, Ash always packages up these things incredibly well. And I have to, uh, thoroughly like that. Um, but, uh, so yeah, uh, let's talk about Ace for a minute whilst I'm doing this quickly. 
Uh, Ace is going very well, Ace Bullion. Um, obviously, I haven't made any sales because I'm still waiting for the processing, but I am working my back side off, trying to do as much as I can uh, in the amount of time that I can uh, to get things ready. And I'm trying to do it right. I'm not cutting corners. Uh, and I refuse to cut corners on, well, anything, quality or so on and so forth. So, um, and that's going to be how I like to do things. Um, I don't want to ever be in a situation where um, I'm going to have anyone unhappy. So I forgot what these are. I haven't looked at the box, but clearly, uh, got some of silver there. Okay. 2018, four nines, one ounce. Oh, yes. Hello, beautiful. Hmm. See, Laura Blade has recently bought one of the gold edition ones. Uh, now, I have <clears throat> a couple of these already, but I saw the price that Ash was selling this for, and I couldn't buy another one for that price, so I had to buy it. Uh, so I'm remembering what, you know, what happened. And I, I think I was inspired to buy this by Laura Blade again, because um, sadly, all my coins at the moment uh, sit into a, a safe. Um, well, in, in multiple safes, just a gold safe and a silver safe and another silver safe, but let's not digress. So I never get to enjoy it. So I'm, I've actually contacted uh, someone by the name of Morzone on uh, uh, the uh, Silver Forum. And uh, he uh, he has a box for me and he's holding it uh, until the end of the month. And uh, I'm going to be buying that. Oh, yes. See, it was Lore Blade because I got really inspired by the dragon theme. That was it. Lore, you're, you're to blame for this. You're to blame for this purchase. Actually, I didn't have this one in all fairness, so thank you. Um, this one's a 3-9. Um, and it says two dragons here. And you can see the two dragons. There's the head of one up top. It looks kind of more like a, a water dragon. And then you have, you know, fire dragon or what looks to be like the dragon of whales on the bottom. And it's, uh, it's just a beautiful piece of artwork. But I do hope to, uh, to be, uh, able to see these on a more regular basis with, uh, you know, the box, what I plan to do. Cause I've seen a couple of other videos where people have actually put, um, the one person, one channel in particular, and I'll be damned if I can actually remember the name uh, of him off of hand. So I do apologize, bud. Uh, he puts all of his, uh, he buys them in two. Uh, and what he does is he puts one of them into uh, a coin book, regardless if it's a proof, if it's whatever. And I fully support that. Now I know that people are like, no, you can't take it out of its capsule. I'm just like, no, enjoy it, enjoy it. You still have one, you know, that's your investment. The other one is for your enjoyment. So I applaud him endlessly. And uh, yeah, so I, what I wanna do is I wanna actually put these somewhere where I can see them and, you know, enjoy them. Um, and uh, the hack with my safe as far as, or the safes as far as I'm concerned. Um, speaking of safes, my boys have just bought uh, two more safes uh, for their silver. Um, and uh, I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me show you those other pieces. Uh, these are the first two that I decided to tumble because I was quite happy to let them, uh, these are gonna get remelted anyway. Uh, but again, you see the matte finish on it. It's not silver. See that our maker's mark. My sponsor mark is actually very similar to this guy's, so it's cost me an awful lot of money to do it, but 
there you go. Um, so I, I'm just going to remelt this. Um, sadly, I mean, it's just because I put a, there's an R there. Should have been a P. This one's a proof. Um, considering just remelting this as well. And this one here was, uh, I used, a, <laughs> it was like a screwdriver type of device there at the time to make that punch along with, uh, oh, this one here was made with uh, one of my circular punches, and I now have a new one, so that's going to be interesting. Um, and let's zoom back out so I can see some more and make this video a bit quicker. So I'm not going to get them all, but here you go. So you can see how it stalled it down. So let me know what you guys think is the best media to use. Uh, if there's any burnishing cream that you would recommend, um, I'm highly interested uh, to know. Uh, so please leave those comments. Uh, please hit that like button. Um, if uh, you're not subscribed, please subscribe because I'm getting closer and closer uh, to the 500. But if I don't achieve it uh, very soon, then so be it. Um, I'll just be more than happy to you know, do my, uh, what I plan for the 500 giveaways with my current subscribers, quite frankly, because I appreciate you guys. I appreciate every one of you, uh, your contributions, your help, your assistance, uh, is endless. Your influence, by the way, however, Laura is, uh, <laughs> rather, um, yeah, arg, but no, thank you. I mean, Without you, I, I, I would have glanced over these, thought, oh, what a great deal, and then never considered to buy them. As I said, I already have the Tiger and Dragon, which is just a lovely piece in itself. But I didn't have this piece here, which is the two Tigers, and it was a piece I wanted, and I'd forgotten about it. So I don't know which one of those actually drew me in at first, but uh, there you go. Anyway, there is one picture to follow afterwards. Because, oh my god, I have snow! Yes, yes I really do. It snowed last night and absolute chaos, I'll tell you. Absolute chaos. I'm only kidding, really. Uh, it has snowed. It's not that big of a deal. If, if, you, if you're like me from New England, Connecticut, and you're in the UK, you get this amount of snow, you laugh. However, it tends to be that, you know, it causes absolute chaos over here. And there's multiple factors. There's uh, inadequate uh, gridding procedures. We have no snow tires. We don't have any of the things that will keep a car to a road or the road surface grippy. There you go. That said, enjoy the picture and have a great day. Thank you very much, Laura, for inspiring me to uh, get these pieces. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk with everyone on uh, Friday. As always, bye for now, guys.